E2 mechanism, depicted as a Newman projection. For an E2 reaction to occur, the hydrogen and leaving group must be in the same plane, or anticoplanar, as shown in the wedged and dashed diagram. Colors are used to help you visualize the conformation. Notice that the green hydrogen and the green methyl group are on the same side in the dashed and wedge diagram, are also on the same side in the alkene. But now let's visualize the reaction mechanism as a Newman projection. In the Newman projection, we can see that the hydrogen and bromine are in the same plane and are anti to each other, or anticoplanar. Mechanism is concerted and occurs in one step. As the base abstracts a proton, the electrons from the carbon-hydrogen sigma bond form a pi bond, and the electrons from the carbon-bromine sigma bond move onto the bromine atom, and the transalkene is produced. Notice that the green hydrogen and the green methyl group are on the same side in the Newman projection, are also on the same side in the alkene. Now let's animate the concerted mechanism to show how the carbons are transforming from sp3 to sp2 orbitals. Base abstracts a proton, electrons from the carbon hydrogen sigma bond form a pi bond, and the electrons from the carbon bromine sigma bond move onto the bromine atom, and the alkene is produced. The animation shows that for a pi bond to form, the dihedral angle between the hydrogen and bromine must be 180 degrees.